Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Starlord, I hope that you're having a fantastic day, and today's video, we're actually going to be going over all of the details for the new game mode coming to Fortnite Battle Royale next week. It's going to go live on the 19th of March, which is going to be extremely insane. It's going to be a fast-based game mode, and I feel like a lot of people are really, really going to like this. Uh, but before we actually get into all that kind of information, guys, please don't forget to leave a like on the channel if you do end up enjoying it. And also, if you do also want to see more videos just like this, subscribe to the channel. I do Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, all that kind of stuff, including I even have a mobile giveaway planned in the next couple of days. That's like for mobile keys for the mobile version of Fortnite Battle Royale. So if you are scared that you're not going to get in on that, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, just keep an eye out on my videos, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys win some free codes. Uh, but anyway, talking about the new game mode, for those of you who don't know, it's actually going to be called Blitz, the Blitz game mode. This is only going to be running for around about a week or two, and some of these patch notes regarding it look absolutely insane. Bear in mind that other Battle Royale games have actually already done this game mode, such as PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. When they first introduced custom games, a lot of people really quickly created this game mode, and they said it made the game 10 times better. It made it more insane, it made it harder to loot. They said they loved it though, so hopefully, because Fortnite's map is a little bit smaller than PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds map, this will be absolutely insane. Like, I'm talking, as soon as you land, Already, there's going to be about 20, 30, 40, 50 people dead within the first couple of minutes. I can guarantee it. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> Epic Games actually released some patch notes, and I just kind of want to go over them. So, first one that they said is that Blitz has a sh much shorter storm time, resulting in faster and more intense matches. So, what that means is the minute that you land, the storm is automatically coming in at you. So... The more, likely, the more likely chance of you surviving is if you land directly middle of the map. Because obviously, you know, uh, the majority of the times, you'll... Like, let's say, for example, you land at Snobby Shores, and the center of the circle starts in the middle of the game mode. You're probably gonna die straight away. So, a good tip for you guys, land center of the map. I'm talking Salty Springs, um, all that kind of places. You know, it's somewhere central. Other than that, they said that the maximum match length is going to be 15 minutes. Normally, when we actually play uh, Fortnite Battle Royale, it normally takes around about 20 to 22 minutes when you play a game. So, that is a significant difference in time. So, 15 minutes per game at most. But I guarantee it's not going to last that long. I know for a fact it's going to last around about 10 minutes or something like that. Like easy wins for those who are really good at this game. Other than that, as soon as the match starts, the storm circle is already closing in over the island. So you don't get four minutes to loot. It is literally grab your loot and go. You need to grab one weapon. If you find one assault rifle, grab it and run if you're landing on the outskirts of the map, you know? Um, other than that, they have done some really big adjustments to the loot that are available to you, such as they've increased the chances of treasure, treasure chests. Oh my, why, why, why am I like this? They've increased the chances of treasure chests spawning from 50 to 70% all the way up to 80 to 90%. So everywhere that you know a treasure chest spawns, it is 80 to 90% of the time going to be there. So pretty much guaranteed in my opinion. Other than that, they've increased the chances of ammo boxes spawning from 65 to 80% all the way up to 85 to 95%. So please make sure to check around all of cooks and crannies around the rooms, you know, underneath the stairs. Get as much ammunition as you can, guys, because you're going to need it. Other than that, the, flute, the, flute, the floor, the flute, loot, what the heck? The floor loot spawns are nearly 100% of the time. So anywhere where you know a weapon spawns, it will pretty much guarantee be there, guys. So just loot everywhere that you would normally do. Um, or, yeah, just kind of check everywhere around the house because there's going to be loot in every room. Um, other than that, the supply drop spawns are going to be lessened from 180 seconds um, to 80 seconds which is insane. So every 80 seconds, there is going to be a supply drop bringing, coming down on the map. Is that, is that right? That sounds insane. What? That sounds absolutely insane. Okay, so eight, every, 80, eight, eight, every 80 seconds, there's going to be a supply drop. Is that right? If you guys know, comment down below. That's what it sounds like, right? So supply drop spawn interval lessened from 160 seconds 
to 80 seconds. So yeah, oh my god, every 80 seconds there's going to be a supply drop. That is insane. So guys, look out for those supply drops. You're going to want to get them. Not only that, but the supply, supply drop to send time is actually being shortened from a minute to 30 seconds. So the time that it takes for the supply drop to sp like spawn and then drop to the map, to the floor, it's actually 30 seconds. So it's pretty much just going to come slamming down at you, pretty much. Uh, which would actually be pretty fun if you're standing underneath it to kind of see what happens. Maybe like it'll glitch you under the map or maybe like fly you up in the air or something. I don't know. I'm definitely going to try that. If you guys want me to try that, comment down below. I, I, I definitely will. Other than that, launch, po launch pad spawn time um, is now greatly increased. They haven't said what the percentage is, but assuming that the map is constantly closing in, I feel like there's going to be a heck of a lot of launch pads. I'm talking even more than you found in the gold playlist. Uh, so yeah, crazy. And also, harvesting, harvesting resources have been doubled. Resources that you found in the loot are increased from 30 to 100. So when you actually find, like, a chest, you will get 100 wood, 100 metal, or 100 brick from it. Or, you know, maybe you might get lucky and even get all of that. You never know. Uh, the treasure chest health has been increased from 200 to 500. I don't know what that means. If you guys know, comment it down below. Like, treasure chest health increased from 200 to 500. That makes no sense to me. I don't understand what that means. Um, I guess like for those people who have been mistakenly hit it, like hitting it, maybe that's what it, that means or something. I, I don't know. Uh, but other than that, ammo box health has also been increased from 120 to 250. I honestly don't know what the whole point of that is, but you know, if you guys understand why they've done that, Comment down below, I would love to know. Um, but anyway guys, I would love to give my a little opinion about this game mode. Personally for me, I think this is going to be one of the better game modes that for, uh, Fortnite have ever introduced into the game. Just, just sorely because Fortnite is such a fast paced game anyway. I never really like kind of thought it could get any faster than this, but obviously it can. And now that they've actually done like the supply drops, the launch pads and increased the loot, that is insane, and that is such a great, like, kind of idea to do, because, yeah, everybody's gonna have weapons at the end of all this. I know for a fact that in the last game mode that we've just had, the 20v20v20v20v20, 20 v 20 v 20 v 20, they never really increased all of the spawns for items and for loot boxes or ammo boxes, and I was just struggling getting ammo to kill people. Like, I was getting, like, top 20, and I was, like, on 10 ammo, and people would just constantly steal ammunition for me, like... It was insane. I don't even know. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this game mode. Are you excited? Are you going to play it? Are you going to try and win a game at this? Hopefully it can be played in single player duos and squads. But I doubt that's going to be the case. I feel like it's going to be single player only. So I don't know. For all of you guys who are hoping to team up with friends and stuff. You know, don't count on it. It might just be a single player playlist I guess. And uh, yeah, guys, I've actually got a video coming out in a couple of days or maybe even a week or two from now about the new 50v50 game mode 2. It's going to be absolutely insane. They've made some huge changes to it. So make sure to keep an eye out on the channel, guys, because it has some very important things to do. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the gameplay in the background, like, how sick is that gameplay in the background of me getting those snipes? It's absolutely insane. I'm going to be using it on like three more of these videos, I'm telling you. Uh, but if you did enjoy that gameplay, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.